Hey guys, Rahul here, and today for you, I'm going to be talking about why I think Battlefield is a game that will not work as an esports title. The reason I'm talking about this now is that after hearing about Battlefield Hardline at Gamescom, we've come to learn that the new game mode, Rescue, will be the competitive game mode for Battlefield. And after the fail of a game mode we saw for Diffuse, it makes me ask the question, why are they trying it again? As well as this, over the last week we've been seeing the competitive side of Battlefield at the ESL in Cologne, and to me it wasn't all that great, especially when compared to other games such as Counter-Strike. Now you may be thinking that Battlefield 4's Diffuse game mode is enjoyable to play and you are correct there. Playing the game mode casually is great fun and whilst I was getting the gameplay for this video I was having a blast of a time. The trouble however starts to occur when you actually move to the competitive gaming. I personally haven't had any true competitive experience at LAN or anything but I play Counter-Strike's matchmaking mode regularly and from there you can kind of tell what makes a good competitive game. There are many reasons on why Battlefield fails as an esports title, but to start off, I'm going to be talking about the map design. Now I'm sure you've all seen Levels Cap videos where he talks about the map design, how it's really bad, and the points he made were correct. With how the maps are, game modes like Diffuse, TDM and Domination are really annoying to play due to the fact that you can get shot from any angle as there are many, many lines of sights. I guess it's not much of a problem in TDM and Domination as you're always trying to look for action but it becomes a real big one when you get into Diffuse. Now this, in my opinion, is something not to be fixed. Now, you may be wondering why this is and the reasoning I have behind my thinking is that Battlefield is meant for your big battles like Conquest, Rush, Obliteration, you know, your big action packed true Battlefield experience. Not much um, for the smaller ones like TDM, Domination, Diffuse. So with the map design as it is, it allows you to traverse the battlefield quickly and get straight into the action which is what I really do love about Battlefield. If the maps were set out like they are in Counter-Strike where you can only go certain ways to get to certain points, it would take a really long time to get to the points on conquest and stuff sure it would be fun to play in something like team deathmatch but in um conquest the big gamers which people do love to play it will kind of get a little bit boring maybe if they do really want to push the idea of esports i guess what they could um how they could make it work is to build maps only for the smaller gamers but to me this is just pointless because the true experience is in Conquest, there's, there's no true Battlefield experience in the Fuse, they're just trying to make something happen which isn't going to be a thing, I mean yeah it's all cool trying to make it happen but I don't believe it's going to be a thing so making own maps only for these smaller gamers I don't think is a viable option. Next up is a big contributor to the Battlefield franchise that completely ruins the experience of competitive play the spotting mechanic. This mechanic within the game is vital to help reveal enemy locations to your teammates to know where your threats are. In game modes such as Rush, it can come to great assistance when trying to stop a flank, and in Conquest, it can help you know when to get to cover if you see a spotted jet getting closer and closer to you on the minimap. But when it comes to competitive play in Diffuse, this spotting mechanic can only be abused, and when you just mash away at the button to find out where the enemies are, it really just becomes overpowered. Not only that, but if you shoot at an enemy and don't even spot them, they'll become revealed on the minimap even if they proceed to move out of your eyeline and into cover. This means you know exactly where they are, so all it would take is a toss of an RGO impact grenade and the kill is yours. This is just unfair in my opinion, as if you do get into cover yourself, then that's your point. You should be able to be off the minimap and go somewhere else as well to try and get your health back up to 100%. This um, also means that through being spotted, you can just you're just an easy target target, you're a sitting duck. To fix this whole spotting mechanic thing, they should um pretty much take it out of the diffuse game mode, but the minimap should be kept only revealing enemy positions when they shoot with an unsuppressed weapon. This would overall improve the experience of the game mode with tactical movements being easier to pull off. Though there are many more factors on why Battlefield fails as an esport title, the final main reason I have is the use of med packs and revives. In the core battlefield game modes like Conquest, this feature is great and can keep the battle flowing, it just works, but when it comes to the diffused game mode, this whole mechanic is completely unbalanced as you could shoot someone and even if you kill them and think they are dead, they can be brought back up and healed up to 100% health. All the while, you have no indication of this happening, so whilst you're thinking that that's one less, four more to go, the enemies will actually still have a five man squad and be at the advantage. This even along with the ammo pack should be taken out of the game mode as it just makes it pointless to play with no real indication of a true death. If they wanted to keep the game mode balanced then I would suggest only letting one player have a med pack keeping the defibs out completely and with said med pack they could have the ability to chuck one down 
per round. This would overall balance out the game mode, but still keep the true battlefield experience. And with that one med pack, it would mean that they could get healed up, but the enemies could shoot it. Med pack gone. No way they could put it down. Same with the ammo packs. Only have one per round, one per person, well not one per person but one per team and overall it would just make it a little bit more balanced so um, the whole experience would be a little bit better. So there you have it, the reasons on why I think Battlefield will just not work when it comes to being a competitive game and there is no reason to change it. Battlefield is about the big widespread battles and changing the game to make it more for the close quarter combat and ESL gaming would be a, the complete wrong approach when it comes to changing the game. But this is all just my opinion, maybe the competitive community within Battlefield do in fact enjoy how it is and want nothing to change, but after spending countless amounts of hours on Counter-Strike, I, I cannot stand to play it, let alone watch competitive Battlefield. I've been your host Rahul, please leave a like if you did enjoy the video and also leave a dislike if you didn't, but be sure to tell me why this was in the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.